So you're wondering, should I make thumbnails for my YouTube shorts? Of course, you've heard me talking about YouTube shorts and how you should be making them, which you should, but are they the same as regular YouTube videos where thumbnails matter so much? Well, it's a little more complicated than that. So the short answer to your question is thumbnails do not show up on the shelf where you want your YouTube shorts to end up, right? Hopefully it does end up there if you put hashtag shorts in the title and the description. But if it ends up on the shelf when people are scrolling through the videos and they see yours are not going to see it. All they're gonna see is freeze frames of your short and everybody else's. The reason being well, I can't tell you why YouTube is doing this, but is very similar to the way TikTok is doing it. And people are getting used to that kind of short form video format where all they're seeing is that freeze frame rather than a very polished kind of clickbaity thumbnail. So in that case, thumbnails don't matter so much, but don't just go yet. If you do make a thumbnail, it will show up on your channel among your other videos. So there is even an area where you can go and customize your channel and put all of your shorts in one area, but that will only show up on mobile. I know this is getting really convoluted, right? My thumbnails for my shorts are a bit different than my other ones because I do want those to stand out as well. So I've decided to use all the same branding, but I've put my thumbnail in a vertical format. I've put little bars on the side with my branding, almost like a wallpaper type thing with my logo there so people can tell, oh, that's a short, but it doesn't look like, oh, it's just a freeze frame. So if you're thinking more about what your shorts actually look like, in the short shelf rather than on your channel, then you wanna be thinking about an attention grabbing title that is less than 40 characters. Because if you make it longer than 40 characters, then it's gonna get cut off when it is in the shelf. And you wanna think more about like, what is that person thinking right then? What is going to be emotionally triggering to them rather than what is someone typing in search? So you wanna make your title short and snappy and make sure it stands out among all of those other shorts that they're uh, swiping through. Okay, so let's actually go take a look at what my short thumbnails look like so you guys have an idea of what I've been doing and then you're gonna have to decide for yourself what is most important. Do you want those shorts to be solely only for the short shelf? Or do you want them to be kind of a dual purpose? You want them to show up in the short shelf and also to look really good on your channel. So our editor and photographer, Andrea, has been helping me create some thumbnails for these shorts, but they are a little bit different than my regular thumbnails. So I'm actually gonna go take you over to her office and surprise her, so don't say anything. And hopefully she'll show us exactly what she did and any differences that there were to make these short thumbnails. Hi, Andrea. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Say hi to all of YouTube. Hey, YouTube, what's up? <laughs> so I was wondering, I'm doing a video about YouTube short thumbnails. Okay. And I was wondering if you could show us what you did for my short thumbnails and any differences there were between those and just regular ones. Oh, okay. Cool. I was telling the audience, the audience, I was telling the <laughs> viewers the reason why we decided to make thumbnails for my channel, mm -hmm. because we wanted to stay on brand with all those other sure, beautiful yeah. thumbnails that you made. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also there's a couple just different things that we did to make them look just slightly different, right? Yes, there is. Okay. Yeah. I'll show you guys. <laughs> cool. Let me um, get my screen recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we decided we should have a background and have the video in there so it looks different somehow. So we created a background here. Mm -hmm. We had, and I just took the Content Warrior logo and just duplicated it. 
so that um, it was small and you and when your thumbnail small you wouldn't necessarily notice it but um, it just kind of stayed on brand so we have her CW everywhere I made some of them pink just to kind of mm -hmm. be fun right but how do you get the actual photo in there right the I thumbnail know. photo that you want to get in there it seems like such a simple process but there's a couple ways you can do it you can do it the easy way maybe you don't have access to your editor or your remote and you have your file somewhere then you can actually take a screenshot of that on YouTube and just grab that screenshot take it into Photoshop but how we're gonna do it is the way that you probably would prefer to do it because it gets you better results because you have a better file bigger bigger size so once you're in Final Cut and you've got your video loaded First, we just want to find a good spot where um, you're looking <laughs> good. And so we'll kind of play through, pause it, kind of zip through until we get a nice smile. So here we have, we have a pretty good shot here. So what you want to do is just go to file. Once you're on a place that you like, go to file and we'll do share and you can save current frame. And then that pops up a window where you can actually just save this to your desktop or wherever you want to on your computer name it whatever something that will help you identify it you'll see the little wheel start turning oh and it looks like it's ready and now you yep. just bring that in just like a normal photo that you would bring into photoshop yep correct correct so we have it here and i just you know copy that image and then i'm going to paste it into my photoshop document here and so you see it show up. I've actually created guides because this isn't my first short, um, <laughs> but you can create guides if that helps you. So now you've got your image over your background. I just quickly mask that out. Just select the image part that you want to show and hit this cool little um, icon down here, which is your mask. And then you have your image onto a background. Beautiful. I know, pretty easy. And then we'll just take this image um, and you're just gonna save it. like you would a normal thumbnail. Just save it like a, a JPEG under two megabytes and you've got your thumbnail and add that to your short. Yes, so essentially this is the same size as a normal thumbnail that you would make if you use Photoshop. Um, that image in the middle doesn't have to be any specific, you know, dimensions or anything no right it, it doesn't no but we do make it that way just so it yeah. looks like a short yeah so shelf. that when you're looking at um anna's page or your own youtube page that it is easily identifiable so you can see in here just how this is these shorts are immediately identifiable because you can see this background you see the size of the image that shows up so that you see it's a vertical video so we maintain that just so that the the viewer knows before they click that it's a short Perfect. Thank you, Andrea. Is that helpful? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>Okay, so there you have it. That is how you make a custom YouTube short thumbnail. And also why, or if you should make one, it really is up to you and kind of the reasons why you are making a YouTube short. Just think about where your traffic is coming from. Of course, you want a lot of your views and hopefully new subscribers to come from the short shelf but do keep in mind that traffic can come from other areas still. You don't wanna ignore those other areas and also those new viewers who come to your channel for the first time and don't know that short is actually a short. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're new. I have lots more about shorts and I will see you in the next one.